Hi grade 10s. Today we're going to talk about technical mechanical drafting. In fact, we're going to use an ordinary piece of paper and a whole lot of drafting tools and equipment to produce something called a title block. So without further ado, let's put on this movie reel that I found from 1954 on technical mechanical drafting. Hello, meet Johnny. Johnny is just delighted because he just found out he'll be doing some drafting today. Slow down there, Johnny. You're going to tucker yourself out. Johnny did the right thing last night and broke it off with his girl. He'll need all the time in the world to concentrate on his work. Let's start by taping down our paper. It takes a steady hand to complete this task. Let's try using a T-square. See how easily it slides up and down the drafting table, Johnny? This is called squaring the paper. It has to be square or even to the table, otherwise you'll have to start all over again. Now tape down the paper and don't forget the other three corners. The T-square has another function. It is used to draw horizontal lines. It cannot be used to draw vertical lines. How in the heck are we going to accomplish that? Very good, Johnny. We're going to use something called a set square. A set square is used in conjunction with a T-square to make vertical lines. Look at these tools in action. They cooperate just like the milk and postman do sharing a lane together. Now wait a minute there, Johnny. Not only does the set square make vertical lines, they can produce angles of 90 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 30 degrees. <laughs> I told you drafting would be fun. Do you know what this is, Johnny? <laughs> Good gravy, no. It's not a ruler, Johnny. It's a scale. Now slow down there, Johnny. You're gonna make us all dizzy. Now you're on the trolley, Johnny. Now, back to our title block. Now pay attention, Johnny. This is where all the fun begins. Make two notches 10 millimeters in from the side and bottom left-hand corner of your page so that it looks like this. Now, repeat this step for the other three corners. You're well on your way to impress mom and dad with your new drafting skills. Your page now looks like this. Without the numbers, of course. Johnny, hand me that T-square over there. And remember, horizontal lines only. What's that, Johnny? I should use the set square for the vertical lines? Now you're playing pinball, Johnny. Fantastic. Hey, Johnny, get back here. Your page now looks like this. Seriously, you said you'd be in my video. Now it's back to measuring with that scale. Are you wondering what we're doing right now, Johnny? Don't worry, I'll tell you. We're measuring nine millimeters up from our bottom corner and making a notch. Then we're doing it again. So nine and nine. Then we're taking our T-square and making our horizontal lines. See how easy that was, Johnny? Your paper now looks like this. Now from the bottom left-hand corner, make a notch 110 millimeters in. Use the T-square and set square to make your vertical line. Notice how it passes through the entire length of the block. Your paper now looks like this. How are we doing, Johnny? Are you learning your lesson today? From your newly created line, make a notch 60 millimeters in. Now repeat this step. Back to the T-square and set-square to make your vertical lines. Notice how your line only goes halfway up this time? Your paper should now look like this. Finish off your other vertical line. And voila! We're well on our way. Now that we have our horizontal and vertical lines, it's time to do our lettering. Johnny, before you start drafting, you have to understand that there's a universal standard for lettering. <laughs> you just can't put in any old chicken scratch, you know. First of all, we're going to put in some lettering guidelines. By choosing 9 millimeters earlier on for our framework, it makes sense to use 3 millimeters for our guidelines. Under drafting rules, we have to ensure that we make a notch 10 millimeters in to start our lettering. Notice the lighter lines 10 millimeters in from each vertical line. This is where you'll start your text. Starting from the top of the title block, 
write the title of the project. In this case, it's Title Block. Next, Shawsbury High School. Followed by your name. Next is the scale, which is one to one. The date and page one of one. There, Johnny. We're now finished our title block. Now, wasn't that fun? You too can be on your way to technical mechanical drafting. Does that mean we get to start right away, Mr. Pius? It sure does, Johnny. It sure does. Oh, you're hurting me, Mr. Pius.